Hi, this is Chris. Today I'm going to tell you about the most important things you should think about before starting your mobile app project. They will save you time and also make sure you don't forget to implement the most important features. First of all, everyone involved should be prepared to spend time and quickly respond when participating in the intense process of app development. Projects to develop apps are usually small and for a good reason. The functionality should be specific. A good app should do one thing and do it perfect. So this is definitely a case when less is more. Also, as users of an app is expecting frequent updates, it's better to get something basic out soon and then keep the new features coming. As it can take some time to get accounts on the relevant marketplaces like the Apple App Store and Google Play, it's a good idea to start those processes as soon as possible. Make sure that the contact persons are aware of what will happen, for example that they will be called up, so that they can respond quickly. Also, when using third-party content or custom encryption, make sure that the proper approvals are in place. It's also a good idea to get a real SSL certificate, even in development. On the client side, at least two roles are required, and the first is a business single point of contact with rights to take decisions on requirements, as well as coordinating responsibility. For example, the graphically responsible, the acceptance testers, etc. The second client role is the technical single point of contact for making both IT infrastructure and development decisions. The user experience and graphical design of an app is essential, and it's important to align with the visual identity guidelines of the company. Therefore, it's important that those guidelines are available to the app designers, and as a minimum, they should contain things like color codes, font, correct use of the logotype, general advice and use of artwork, etc. This also includes the graphical artworks in high resolution, preferably vector graphics, of the logotype, symbols, icon, photos, splash screen imagery, etc. In the best case, a specific app design guidelines are created with accompanying graphical artifacts. Here are a number of general services that are common in most apps. And a typical example is sharing, which can be done either by the built-in support in the respective operating system on the mobile device or on the server side. For example, sharing via email on the server side could require an SMTP server for example, Amazon simple email service in the cloud. Other examples are sharing on social networks, analytics, ad networks, ad moderators, payment providers, push notification and URL shortening, crash logging and test distribution. When it comes to the proprietary services, there should be a specification with the request and response protocols the data formats like JSON and XML, data and file download, like how many items per page, etc. Each request and response should be specified and the entities returned with the attributes and data types. And it's good also to include examples of each re request and response that can be used for both service mockups, uh, but also in testing. And of course, exception handling. There are also a number of non-functional requirements that should be considered and decided before development starts. For example, specify the supporting operating system versions and which devices are supported, which is really important during testing. Another example is security concerns like authentication, local storage or credentials in the keychain, for example, encrypted communication like SSL, encryption of local data, and so on. Other examples are multi-language support for both user interface and data, response times, and caching policies. So there you have the most important things to think about before starting your mobile app projects. And with that, I wish you the best of luck with creating great apps. Thank you.